Art is a huge, uh, powerful tool to connect people in ways that they just don't really think about. So it's that kind of natural way of people coming together to make something or take part in something. Uh, and people get to then meet different people from different backgrounds that they might not otherwise come into contact with and just have fun and enjoy each other's company. We help groups to run their own dance and fitness and music events, their own community awards, ceremonies, you name it. We support groups to enable their ideas to come into reality. We also deliver a really creative, inspiring arts uh, and music program. We have live events that are affordable and accessible. Uh, we run performances, working with a range of participatory artists who really put the community at the heart of what they do. I think in a world where people are quite polarised online, in spaces where um, difference can be quite scary, actually in a physical space when you're kind of enjoying something, whether you're kind of having fun just getting down, having a dance or making something and being really proud of that thing that you made, yeah, art just is quite magical like that, I think. We work with uh, people who are potentially isolated for various reasons, people who are older, who may have struggled to get involved with um, previous activities. We also work with a, a range of other vulnerable groups from ex-offenders to young people from challenging circumstances to help use arts as a vehicle to empower uh, and excite people to get back involved. We are a huge local economic uh, multiplier. We employ uh, 50 people, uh, most people live locally to the centre. Our live programme then attracts audiences from outside of the area to come and spend money in the local area, to eat out in the local area, to go and shop in the local area. Trinity's main challenges, I think, is just achieving that balance between commercial activity to generate income and then keeping that space available for those kind of last minute community ideas and activities to take place, which are more often than not the most exciting things that happen. To give that space to a group, to come up with something that's just like gets people involved, inspires people and you can just see the looks on people's faces. COVID was a challenge for a lot of venue-based organisations, uh, suddenly to have a building that was closed and having to find different ways to um, support our communities. Uh, but we um, varied our programme, we delivered a lot of activities online with some of our sort of workshops for young people. We also did some live performances online which were really great, particularly some of our accessible performances with like BSL sign language and we also created some physical um, activity packs, uh, nature packs for uh, children and families just to kind of send out to local households, particularly some of the households that don't have access to gardens and green spaces. Just some really creative, easy things with materials so that people can kind of get involved and just have a bit of fun with, with art. Being a locality member has been really helpful because it's put me in touch with other people who are in similar positions, both locally and nationally. So we've just been able to connect with kind of other organisations and learn from their experiences. Uh, and also, um, I think there's that kind of element of strength in numbers. So we're able to um, work with a network to push agendas that would otherwise be difficult to further as an individual organisation. So locally, uh, locality has helped us build connections with, particularly with other um, community hub organisations like us, uh, people who are running buildings, people who are kind of facing different challenges around running an asset, making it viable, um, the kind of social enterprise model, uh, and also making sure that we kind of stay community led and community focused. And it's a really great resource to find out practical information about running an organisation, things like leases, contracts, all of those kind of bits and pieces that you have to do uh, to make the magic happen. Community 
organisations provide an amazing value to society because they are the prevention rather than the cure. They are the solution to a lot of our woes and they give us a huge amount of joy. They create unity and they give us a lot of fun.